Welcome. The subject we're going to be looking at here is the MOSFET H bridge in action. While it is controlled by a microchip PIC 12F683, this works identical if connected to an Arduino or a pickaxe or any microcontroller of your choice. In this video, we're going to be emphasizing speed control through pulse width modulation and optocoupler isolation which creates incredible flexibility for circuit design. Here is the general block diagram of the system. On the left of course is a microchip PIC 12F683 and on the right is my uh, H MOSFET H-Bridge motor control board that you will see demonstrated in the video clip. Note that it has two optically isolated inputs for direct connection to a microcontroller. First you'll notice that the VSS or microcontroller ground has a connection to VSS on the uh, H-Bridge control board. These grounds are completely isolated from the rest of the circuitry, particularly the 12 volts, the motor, and all of that. In the, in the H-Bridge ground side of the module, that's going to be connected to a pulse width modulation circuit that will control the speed of the uh, motor as the H bridge controls the direction. I think this is better because uh, we could try pulse width modulating, for instance, the signals that, that control direction, but this creates problems of its own. And it should be noted once again that Everything in the 12 volt or 24 volt motor circuit is completely electrically isolated from the microcontroller. Here is the actual schematic to the H bridge motor control um, board. Notice that I have two optocouplers isolating the uh, microcontroller from the other higher voltage circuitry. You'll see, you'll notice that the VSS grounds here and here are not connected to this ground, and the main common side of the H bridge, which would have been down here, goes to the collector of the pulse width modulation transistor. This is the exact same design that I've had on the web for a couple of years, and it's proven to work quite well. This is the circuit in the ground side of the H-Bridge motor control board. Um, you notice that too, either though it's connected to GP2 on the PIC, it could also be connected to any pulse width modulation output on an Arduino. Once again, optocoupler isolation. If I wanted to, I could have really put this in the VCC side of the H-Bridge circuit but it works either way and that's what this is going to demonstrate. Um, if you look at this it is a uh, optocoupler the emitter turns on from the microcontroller Q2 switches on creates a circuit path for base current through Q1 and a, through a thousand ohm resistor. The collector is connected to the H bridge ground and the emitter is connected to the power supply common. All right, so much for the technical lecture. Let's see the item in action. All right, what we're going to be covering here um, in another video I showed you around on how to use a PIC chip or you can use an Arduino and an optocoupler with a uh, TIP120 to control the intensity of a 12 volt LED lamp. Now we're going to carry that concept over to what everybody really loves is H-Bridge motor controllers. Here is the PIC chip circuits we discussed before. Up here is the TIP120. Its associated optocoupler is there. Here's the two lights that actually feed over to another opto, dual optocoupler here. And these four mo power MOSFETs are the uh, one of the H-Bridge circuits that I've posted up on the internet for some time. This is the MOSFET model 
instead of using just plain old NPN bipolar transistors, I went with optocouplers, which you will learn about in another video, to control the uh, polarity on this motor. And these light panels, which are wired opposite to each other, will help you see that the polarity is switching on and off. Anyway, let's cut something on. Let's watch it light. I'll zoom in on the motor in a minute. You may even hear it running. What this is designed to do is that if I don't have either light here on, it's designed to kill the power um, from the battery through the um, switching controller, which also controls the speed through pulse width modulation and shuts off the whole business. Again, switch it on. One or the other has got to be on or no power. Let's zoom in a bit to the motor so you can see the pulse width modulation in action. Let's see if we can't get the two light bars to show up a little bit, but let's just focus in on your motor. And I can control the speed. Of course, if you can see the light off to the side, you can you see its intensity also changes. Or I can bring the motor down to a crawl, as you can see there. Alright. What if I just want to reverse direction? Same speed reverses direction. I believe this is a superior way doing it through the power supply to control motor speed as opposed to trying to pulse modulate one of the input pins. This is a better, more stable way of doing it. A lot of the other ways, if you tried doing it on the pins that control the direction, it may not switch over um, the same speed when you switch over. This is a lot easier. Again, here is an overall picture of it once again. And you can see the light bars go on and off depending on polarity. The important part about this is, is all this 12 volt circuitry over here, the motor, the H bridge is only a section of this board by the way. The power control circuit, the H bridge, the motor, all of this stuff is completely isolated from all the 5 volt circuitry on the PIC or Arduino or whatever you're using. So I hope you enjoyed this demo and and in various videos I'm going to show you how the electronics works for this including the PIC, the power control and, uh, and an alternate H-bridge design. Thanks for listening.